When you think about Louis Armstrong, when you hear Louis Armstrong, the first American pop star, the grandfather, the archetype of this music, and you think of the term Armstrong now, the music that's happening and being created in this day and age is directly connected to what Armstrong did. When I hear that phrase Armstrong now, I think of modern day jazz, black American music. Well, we were fortunate enough, you know, you guys gave us full access to the archives. We put it in the context of this is the Newport Jazz Festival. But then you think about when Pops went there, he was a star. He was larger than life. Like, it was a really big deal to be able to carry that on and, and bring back his music to that space and just, it's incredible, you know? playing this this great music we call jazz, especially dedicating this to Louis Armstrong, it's almost like a, ba a badge of honor, if you will, to be able to carry this load and, you know, keep the continuum of this music happening, adding our new voices to what Armstrong has already established. I think Armstrong now is putting together all things past, present, you know, and what's to come. That's what it means, you know, to be in the now, too. I've never been to the Zulu Parade, you know, maybe you, you, have you? Oh, yeah. They're personal things for me. That's just the rhythm that I'm drawn to the most right now. And I think we have like the perfect team to do it. With Herlin being from New Orleans, he's completely tapped into that. Pop's High Life is an arrangement on Louis Armstrong's King of the Zulus. Honestly, I went a lot of different places. If there was one common thread with all of it, it's just this connection to Africa and rhythms outside of the swing rhythm. So yeah, it just kind of came to me through me being inspired by this video of Hello Dolly. And this is iconic intro. I usually like to write that way. I like to start with a material and then develop on it. great to get to explore that and put it in a modern context. I mean, Louis Armstrong's music is always modern, so that's why it fits and gels. Like when we go back to that intro, you know, um, when people get to get a chance to hear it, people will see how it's like all one and the same. Now we got to be not too partial to one kind of music. You got to appreciate all kind of music. What he's talking about is the importance of playing all music. And when you hear Louis Armstrong, you hear that in his sound. You know, I hear that in his sound. And to me, that's important, especially in this day and age where music is expansive. And to me, that's the nature of jazz music is forever growing. Armstrong now is modern day jazz music, you know, modern day black American music. Um, when you think about Louis Armstrong, when you hear Louis Armstrong, the first American pop star, you know, kind of the grandfather, the archetype of this music, and you think of the, the term Armstrong now, the music that's happening and being created in this day and age is directly connected to what Armstrong did, you know. He 
again, kind of grandfather of this music. So when I hear that phrase Armstrong now, I think of modern day jazz, black American music. I feel very privileged. One of the first things I thought about when we started this project and the first day we came to the house, I thought about legacy and inheritance. We tend to think about it in the context of our own family. When someone passes away, what did they leave us behind? And Louis Armstrong is like a god. So he's like all of our fathers. He's our trumpet father. And his impact was so heavy that he literally left us an inheritance to be a such a great musician that you leave an inheritance for generations far beyond after you're gone. That's, that's what I think about whenever I'm in this space, really. It's just like, wow, like how amazing is that to leave behind that much? Now, without further ado, this is Armstrong Now, Lewis at Newport. jazz festival up in Newport. And as we go up that road among those fine homes, you know what I mean? And that's when I start uh, telling the boys, just dig that scenery fest floating by. See, we're now approaching Newport, Rhode Island. We've been for years in variety, but Charlie Nickabaka, now we going to be in high, high, uh, high society, high society. Uh.